Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to reverse any animation that you compile in Blender. And to give you an example, we're going to create something on this line. So watch right here and I'll, I'll play this little clip. So I, I've pretty much got a reversed physics explosion. Just a simple thing and that's what the tutorial is going to be. And this can actually be done with anything you create in Blender. So let's go ahead and get started so pull up, open up blender and uh, go ahead and you can do whatever you want but this I'm going to create uh, this to show you so I'm going to create an icosphere with a few subdivisions and I'm going to create some particles for it um, if you look at the uh, I made an icosphere here. If you look it up here, it'll show you how many faces are in that icosphere or in your scene, but we only have the icosphere. So there's going to be 1,200 uh, of them. So that's how many particles we have to have emitted from the object. So let's go ahead and put in that number. Uh, so, and we also need, I'm going to change the start to 5 and the end to 6 so that it's a quick explosion. Change the lifetime to probably 100. And I'm going to change the end to 100 because I don't want this to be a long animation. Uh, random. Uh, I'm going to increase the normal so it has more of an explosion. Turn on rotation. Let's see what we got. We got a little bit of an explosion. I'm going to turn down some mass on this. Didn't really do much, but I'm going to turn off the render so I can't actually see the particles as I render or as I animate it, whatever, play the animation. Uh, so now let's go in here. And I just went into the modifiers tab, hit add modifier. And then I click on explode right here. And if you just hit play, boom, they all explode out. So that's good. Uh, go back to your particles. Let's see if we can make it look a little bit better. Oh, filled weights, that's what. Let's turn down gravity a little bit. There we go. Now we got some explosion. Maybe we want some Brownian mo movement. Didn't really do much, but if we turn down the mass here, it really does stuff. So uh, let's turn up the mass of hair. That was a little bit much, and turn down the brownie in a little bit. So now it's only okay. Maybe turn down that mass a little bit more. There we go. Okay, and then I'm also going to create a plane for it to react upon. And I'm gonna move the camera, so I just hit one on my keypad, and I hit control, alt, zero, and that moves the camera that was here right in front of me. And I can zoom in by hitting G, middle mouse button, and dragging up. Uh, I'm actually gonna hit G and just move up a little bit so I can see the top of the plane. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit like I told you just a second ago, and I hit R twice, and that lets me kinda pan around a little bit and keep using these functions till you get the camera to just about where you want it if you're doing the same scene as I am and go ahead and watch it play oh I'm actually go oh, I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit and move up I forgot that it's gonna explode up a little bit also we have to turn on collision here so right click on the plane go to the physics tab hit collision and turn up well, we'll show you what it does first. So it bounces pretty good, right? So we're going to turn up particle dampening. And it bounces a little bit. Okay, still a little bit much. Let's turn it up more. Uh, there we go. That's, that's pretty good. But it still slides, right? So we want to get rid of that. Let's turn up particle friction. Boom. It kind of just bounces a little bit. I know it's still not realistic, but we're not really going for the physics part of this. We're just going for the reverse effect. So, and actually, we might want to go a little bit longer than that. 
and we also have to change that in the particles tab of this circle or the key, uh, sphere. So go ahead and change the lifetime to 150 so we have the full particle movement. Yeah, that looks pretty darn good. Eh, it'll at least suit the fancy of what we're doing. So uh, I think we can go ahead and just reverse this now because I think it's working pretty well. So what we're going to do is we're now going to go into the video editor that Blender has. So we're going to video editing and do shift A and go into uh, scene and scene. Puts in the scene right here and at 150 it ends. Perfect. Now hit shift A while your mouse is in this and do effect strip adjustment layer. Drag this code to the end. Make sure that this number and this number are the same. If they're different, that means they're different sizes, and we want them to be the same. And then over here, this is where it's, you edit the strip. You want to go to backwards and give it just a minute, and it'll. Oh, you can't be on frame zero either, or frame one, I guess. I don't know why it's doing that, but so frame two it starts working, and let's. Yeah, there we go. Well, it looks like it's uh, reversed correctly, so I think that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching.